today we learn meditation, but uh, the real purpose is not to learn this piece of music. The real purpose is to teach the young students how to learn a new music. When you have a new piece of music, uh, how to get a start. What is the most important thing to learn a new piece of music? Uh, this is more important. First, if you learn a piece of new music, number one important is the notes must be all correct. You should not play a wrong note, okay? So we must check all the notes are correct. Uh -huh. Second, is the tempo must be correct. You should not play a wrong tempo, okay? Uh, the third is the fingering. If the fingering is, is good. For the fingering, I, I never uh, force my student to do the exact same as I do. I give them suggestions. I say, this is how I do. Because everyone, the finger is different, the feeling is different. So everyone uh, can find the best way for themselves. But first, they know how I do, and they, they learn the way I, learn, I, I play the music. If, if they don't like, if they think it does not suit them, they can change whatever they like. Okay. Uh, also, same like bowing, okay? fingering, bowing. And uh, that will be the fourth step. First, correct the notes. Second, correct tempo. Bowing, uh, fingering, bowing. After that, okay, everything is set. You play it correctly, tempo correctly, and uh, you get used to the fingering and bowing. Then we talk about the music. We talk about the expression, how to express this music. Okay, we do this step by step today. First, I want uh, my student to play uh, it without feeling, without uh, expression, just to play if the note is correct. Okay, please. Okay, the first, uh, the notes are correct. Okay, there's no mistake. Of course, intonation, something we can talk to later. Uh, now we do the tempo. Before I say about the tempo, we must understand. Tempo is something uh, not... Uh, the, 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 the notes, uh, the music score is only a way to register, to record the, the, the music. So it, it, it is never be actually correct by the notes itself. Because music, what we, we, when we make the music, it's like floating. But we, we must register something, uh, have the recorded, write it down, so write notes. So in the beginning, we count the beat very precisely. And uh, just make all the music you play in the frame, when the framework is correct. But when actually you play the music, it's not a frame, okay? You have to float in the music. So in the beginning, it's very strict, it's very ro uh, robotic, like robot, okay, robotic. Uh, very um, mechanic, it's okay only for the practice. But when you come to the real music, you cannot really count the beat. Even the conductor, okay, they do like this, eh? Uh, like this, not, not, not the boom, 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 boom. nobody do this. Huh? So this is why music, uh, when we learn a new music and actually play a new music is different. Now we're talking about how to learn a piece of new music. Okay, now.
I say it again, uh, when practice is not playing music, this is not music, okay? But uh, when you play it so-called correctly, according to the notes, then you have a framework. You can f play on the framework, especially when you go together with orchestra. When you go together with orchestra, so you have to be on the framework. You can do freely, and the conductor will follow you, but they have to... Uh, Da 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 So so the conductor will be able to follow you. If if you you don't have a framework, the conductor don't know what to do, and you may make this master in trouble. This is not good. Okay. And for the bowing and the fingering, we have talked before, so we, have, we don't have a problem now. So from now on, if you have gone, correct the notes, correct the beat, uh, tempo, and correct the uh, fingering and the bowing, the next is expression, how to express the music, okay, how to play it. Uh, not beautifully. Beautifully is not the purpose. It's to play the music as it should be. Some music are not beautiful. Okay, some music are very rough, not supposed to play it beautifully. Uh, but this is from uh, an a opera, so play like an opera singer. Okay, like uh, you singing it out. Okay, so this is important. Now we, we do it. is a difference between young violinists and uh, the real masters. The real masters, they don't care about the show of their technique. Uh, they just uh, play something very simple, then they can play very beautifully and uh, very expressive. But for young musicians, they always want to show off, they want to play Paganini. You know, just so how good I am, especially the Chinese uh, violinists. They are very good, uh, like uh, acrobatic players. Um, my teacher, Isaac Stern, once taught me a, a very s simple piece of music, Journey with the Light Blonde Hair. Then he, he said that if you can play this piece of music so beautifully and better than anybody else, anybody else then you are a great violinist. Uh, this is why I, I learned some, you can play something very simple, very simple, just like uh, you're singing a song, you use a violin to sing. It. But you sing more beautifully and more and, and in a more expressive way than other people, then you are a very good violinist. The same like a meditation. Everyone can play, but not many play it so well. Include some very known uh, world needing uh, soloists. I don't think they played uh, well enough. They could play it better. So I have I have no practice. But I will try to, to just show you uh, how to express su such a simple music. And for such a simple phrase, so much we can do. Now we use a, a, a um, Daniel Gold Rosen. Gold Rosen is very e expressive and it goes the best together with Daniel Rich Strings. Daniel Gold Rosen together with Rich Strings. Uh, 
makes the best result. Very expressive and elegant sound.